Hi everyone, um, I was requested to do an updated version of my skincare routine and it has actually changed since the first time I've done, I've made that video because uh, that was a couple of months ago. It does change probably on a monthly basis as I find new products. Um, so I'll talk you through them quickly. I have quite a, a few things and they're not, they're things that I use every week but not necessarily things I use every day. So I'll start with um, Exfoliator. Okay, so the exfoliator I've been using is the, is the Rock Microdermabrasion Expert System, and this comes. I actually have a new one, but it's in the car, so I, this is what I can find. I can find. It comes with like a little electronic device that you apply to your face, and you just basically buff the crystals. It is. It is fantastic. Um, I find most exfoliators are so gentle that they don't, if you actually need a good exfoliation, it doesn't do that much because they're so gentle. But I wouldn't do this, this isn't a product you, you, you would use twice a week, I don't think anyway, this is a product I would use twice a month. Um, and then I would use, I actually really like, uh, there's an Avon one, I'm actually out of it at the moment, I need to order more. There's an Avon um, scrub, a clear skin scrub. And that's re it's, that, that I really like that. It's kind of a blue, when you, a blue product when you when you squeeze it out of the tube. But that's great. So I really like that. Um, so I use those. I usually exfoliate, exfoliate about twice a week, and then I do the microdermabrasion maybe once or twice a month, depending on my skin, how bad or good my skin looks. Um, sometimes, maybe actually twice a month as well, I would do a peel, a skin peel, and this is Rock Peel X Radiance. And I really like this. It does take quite a while for it to dry, but um, I don't know I've tried a lot of peels. Again, the Avon Clear Skin Peel is quite good, but you can't. It's not for sensitive skin. You you know it's for you know acne acne prone skin. Maybe you know if you have quite thick skin and it's sensitive. I'm not sure how good it would be on sensitive skin because it does tingle a little. So I like those too. And um, again, they're not things I use all the time. Something I do use absolutely every day is Visibly Clear, Neutrogena Visibly Clear 2-in-1 Wash and Mask. Um, I eat through this stuff. I use it morning and um, evening. It makes your face feel just so fresh and tingly. And it just, gets, it just gets rid of all your makeup residue. And it really feels like it's cleaning your skin. I really, really like it. And I usually follow, in the morning time, I follow it with the Visibly Clear um, Oil-Free Moisturiser. Um, I don't actually have acne prone skin. I would get the very odd. It wouldn't even be a breakout as much as it might be just a, as a spot. Um, but I still, my skin is still at that, or I'm at that in between stage where I probably need to start thinking about, you know, protecting my face from wrinkles. But my skin is just far too, it, it, it still needs an oil free product. and. Um, I, I just I, I need to stick to those for the moment. My skin has has changed a little, but not enough to change completely change my routine. Um, something I definitely use every day is SPF, and I really like V Sheet. This is just one I had to hand. This um, is a really high one, um, but I I do use it every day. I I would be quite I have quite a lot of moles and things, so I would be quite paranoid about skin cancer, and um, I just. Uh, I didn't used to, but I do now all the time. Even in the winter, I wear a moisturizer and SPF in it at least. And during the summer, I'm actually wearing and um, I'm actually wearing uh, full SPF on my face and neck and things that's exposed a lot, which might be a little bit melodramatic in Ireland. I know, but I just I'm I I seem to be prone to you know to sk to skin damage and that, so it's not worth it. And let me see what else. Oh, I have everything here in front of me ready to go. Something I've been using every day as well, which I said before I like but I don't love, is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturising Gel. It's a nice gel, and I would say that's about it. It doesn't re it doesn't do anything wonderful for your skin. It doesn't reduce the size of your pores. It doesn't mattify the skin really. It's it's grand, you know. It's one of those okay products. It's great, uh, but I'm sure you could find a gel that costs you know, a third of the price in your local pharmacy that do pretty much the same thing. And um and um, but in my last makeup uh, my last skincare video I did mention that I use Lancome Hydra Zen Neurocam and this is a soothing anti stress moisturising cream and this is it says it's for all skin types and it's also suitable for sensitive skin and it's non com um I can't say that word non common Germanic, I can't say it it doesn't block your pores basically uh, which is an essential for me but um, I still use this but I only use it twice a week because some 
after about three or four days of all the astringent use and you know salicylic acid and these in some of my um, visibly clear products and stuff I do actually need a little bit of moisturising but not enough if I use this two nights in a row my pores would be blocked so it's um, but it's still it's a gorgeous moisturiser it smells really really nice I really like it and I think that's everything is it oh there's one more that I've been using and it's the Ole Total Effects Anti-Aging and Blemish Care now this smells nice it's a good makeup base it's not a wow product and I've actually only been using it the last two weeks um, when the visibly clear wasn't at hand so I, I don't really I actually mixed a little a bit a little bit with, with my foundation but as you know I mix at the moment I'm mixing my uh, my Revlon Colour Stay with the Clinique gel and that's working really nice because they're both they're a very similar consistency. Uh, so I wouldn't I wouldn't rush out and buy this. I like the idea of it, you know, that it, it is anti aging and blemish care, but it's still a little bit heavy for my skin. So that's them all. And um, oh it's not one more. 